Hi, Mike. It's David at Discount Forklift, filling in for Brian here. I am standing here with your beautiful 1932 Sinoboom scissor lift. I love these. They're probably the best scissor lift I've ever seen. Absolutely uh, love the way they're set up and controlled. Before we get too far into that, I do want to show you a couple of things I'm going to send to you. I'm going to send this uh, maintenance guide. It actually says uh, that uh, it's for equipment. A lot of this is not going to be applicable to you because it is for... Uh, uh, gasoline engines or LP engines, diesel engines, whatnot. But there is some good hints in there. You might take a quick flip through there. And back behind this tab here is one of the best things that's in here. You've got your uh, checkoff sheet. You've got a weekly checkoff. You've got a six-week checkoff. You've got a year checkoff. So uh, as you do your, your uh, checkoffs, your um, starter day service and whatnot, you can uh, keep track of it. I always recommend that people leave the originals in the book here. And that way you've always got a good, clean, original to shoot those from. I'm going to put that in this nice tote bag I'm sending to you. I am also sending you a Lift Hero hat, brand of forklift that we represent that I like a lot. And also a Lift Hero t-shirt. Let's talk about the uh, scissor lift itself here. Um, 1932, it goes up 19 feet and that's from the ground to the platform, so you've got a 25 foot working height for the average guy. Um, 32 inches wide is what the other um, number refers to, the width of the, of the platform itself there. As you can see here, it's got a fresh service sticker on it. Um, they've just gone through the lift and whatnot. Uh, she's got a name tag, Felicia, on both sides. She really likes it when you call her by name. She'll operate a little better for you. Um, you can tell everything is brand new, the great tires on it, everything. Let's talk about your controls down here. Now you've got two sets of controls, one down here and one up in the uh, platform itself. This is an emergency cutoff. You've got one in each place. I do not recommend that you use the emergency cutoff for anything other than that, an emergency or um, service. Leave, that, leave those both on because that way you can always know where your control is. So to start, we need to turn on the switch down here. There is no switch up there. That's the one thing that's not duplicated. This is designed so you know that if you're up in the air and you have any kind of a service failure, you can get down safely. Somebody can control it and bring it down. So that's what that is. We'll talk about the controls up on top as I get started here. But uh, as we walk around her, you can tell that uh, you know, she's beautiful. Everything's uh, brand new, obviously, and good to go. On the back side here, a couple of things I need to point out. You've got two plugs here. This is your charging plug right here. Plug that up, pull that out, and plug it into an extension cord. You can plug that uh, into any 110 outlet. That will charge the batteries. This one here will, um, if you're running any kind of equipment up on here that's electric, you can uh, run an extension cord to that. There are plugs here on the unit where you can... Uh, where you can do that. Right here, you'll see that you've got two 110 outlets. So if you plug in there, you need to have an extension cord plugged in back here. It will not run off the battery power. So any attachments or anything, um, you need to have plugged in an extension cord down here. Now your control box here is pretty simple. You've got uh, two modes here. You've got your turtle mode up and your hair mode down, slow and fast, obviously. You get a button. Um, on your controls here, um, I don't know if you can see it there, but you've actually got a, a little uh, finger trigger switch on the back side here. And you've got to have that pressed to move it in any direction. On top of that, there is two little arrow buttons, one for left, one for right. And that will turn your wheels down here as I grab that. And that's how you turn your wheels uh, left and right there. Okay, very important. You notice I already have my safety harness on. Please follow OSHA rules. Anytime you're on this, you need to have the um, proper safety equipment to do it. Latch on. Don't just wear your, your uh, vest. Don't just wear your harness. Please latch on. Make sure you're attached there. It's your life you're taking into your hands there, so please take care of it. Okay? So, so we can...
it will turn on itself here. Either forward or backwards. There's a switch just to the left of your uh, joystick here. When you push that forward, that will change it from back and forth motion to the uh, up and down motion. One more thing that I want to uh, make sure that you're aware of, and that is that this platform will slide out. If you just put your foot on this little lever here, it will slide out all the way. And you've got your extended platform. Same thing to come back, just release that. It just glides back. I know you've probably been on some of these where you have to fight that and yank and pull. This just glides out and back. Great lift, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopes it makes you a lot of money, and we appreciate you doing business with us so we can support a company like yours. Here's the serial number. It's on both sides of the frame here. Thanks, guys.